We've had to seize them under warrant. Hey. You are now looking at Curtis Wayne Sagmolin, a man suspected by many in the disappearance of multiple women. August 28, 2017 in Salmon Arm, a city of the, the Columbia Shuswap Regional District in Canada. A young escort responds to a Craigslist advert that requested her to meet the client at his home in a rural area. The young woman then made her way to the Salmon River Farm, this is the same address where Curtis resides. When arriving at the property, the young lady was not able to enter as the gates were closed. At this point she decides to exit her vehicle to see if she could open the gates, but as soon as she exited the vehicle a masked man holding a shotgun approached her out of the woods. In distress, the woman then quickly got back into her car and sped away. She then hears a loud thud coming from the back of her vehicle. The victim then loses control of her car then crashes into a bridge. She immediately exits her car and starts running. It was the next morning when neighbors of Curtis came across the vehicle that was still running and notified authorities. A pair of pink slippers and footprints were found at the scene alongside bullet fragments in one of the rear tires. Thankfully police were able to track down the young lady and she fully cooperated. It took two whole months on October 20th for Curtis to finally be charged for this crime. The very next day authorities received a search warrant for the property of Curtis's family farm. This is where they discovered the horrifying remains of missing 18-year-old Tracy Jenner, a different young lady who was also working as an escort. She was trying to turn her life around. A family member said she was awesome, she was always having fun. After this discovery Curtis Sagmoen was then immediately brought into the interrogation room. For context Curtis was 37 years old at the time of the interrogation. Authorities requested to remove some victim personal details from the recording and ruled that Curtis's voice to be changed. You do have that history of like, it's called like maybe four, four escorts in my life, so that's a public history. Okay, well, thank you for telling me that. Right, you. Five minutes ago you are denying having any history. <laughs> escorts, you know. Right, you know, like, so that's what we're trying to figure out here, Curtis. We're trying to figure out if you're guilty of this. You know, like we're trying to I haven't called any escorts to my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I haven't met anyone here for a few years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Curtis worked as a foreman on a construction site. A former colleague described him as a cowboy with no teeth due to substance abuse, who had very little concern for safety. I have a few pictures to show you here as well. I wanted to show you this ad. Do you recognize that ad? So one thing that we're going to, to have to do when we search your phone, we're going to look for any type of application that you may have used that would alter the appearance of a phone number, that kind of thing. Do you ever hear spoofing? Or if you use your phone to dial another one, but somehow manipulate the phone number to appear differently. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So we're going to be examining your phone for that. Have you ever used that type of application? Okay. I'm just tired right now. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I think you, you have used one of those applications. And I think you used it when you contacted me. Did you meet with that night? I haven't met anyone. Curtis had a few minor run-ins with the law, but no major criminal charges before the August 28th crime. Although four other women have gone missing in less than two years from the shoe swap area where his rural farm is located. Part of what told me, uh, Curtis, is that when she arrived at she noticed that the gate is locked. And when she got out of the gate, or when she got out of her car to go and lock the gate, somebody appeared behind her. And he had his face masked. And he was wearing some type of the way she described it. It may not have been that's how it was perceived to her. So she provided some more descriptions of the whole. And she described the male that was holding his holding a gun. Came out of the woods. Um, now, initially, the male wasn't pointing the gun at her. He's pointing it up in the air. So, I think that's a good thing. It means to me that the person that came out of that woods 
wasn't trying to kill her. Maybe he's trying to scare her for some reason. And so that's kind of the reason why I'm trying to figure out is why, why would that happen in the first place? Why would someone come out of the woods to try and scare a, an escort? I mean, let's call it, you know what, let's call it spade a spade. Um, this girl's obviously an escort. She's coming out to some place that she doesn't really know, and she's going down some dirt driveway. I think a lot of people with common sense may even predict something like that happened. But for whatever reason, the male wasn't shooting at her. He wasn't pointing the gun at her. He was just holding it up in the air. So it means that the person has a conscience. It just means that, to me, something happened to cause that, that male to do that. And that's what I want to figure out. I know that there's been several escorts that came up to that property and uh, they were, they claimed to have been directed up there. A local man who wishes to remain unnamed said Curtis was unusual and nowhere near as friendly as his younger brothers John and Eric. The man said he ran into his brother John and asked him if he thought his brother was innocent. He shook his head. He didn't speak. He just nodded to say yes. Barely slow fragments inside of the tire. So it means to me that at some point the fire was discharged. And through canvassing some of the local residents, they heard of a fire being discharged. People that live on that road. If you did contact your Curtis, and there's another story behind all of this, like I've, keep, I've kept telling you, if there is another story behind all this, let us know so we can investigate that. If you didn't do this, help us out so we can clear it. If you did do this, if you did contact her, what happened? Like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're getting her side of it. And for all I know, something else could have happened that night where maybe you felt the need to defend yourself. Oof. Is that I think you have a history with inviting escorts up there to the property. I think that you have a history in being with escorts, and one of which you got into a physical altercation with, or at least that was the accusation. You had a more recent experience with an escort who was trying to extort you for your truck. She claimed that the bill wasn't paid and she was going to steal your truck. And that's when we got involved, the police. We investigated that. Um, I believe that you live close by to that address. You have access to the I'm tired. And I believe there's going to be a history of you contacting her on that phone. The only thing I don't know is what caused you to do that. I mean, you know, we'll have to rely on the evidence. But the evidence won't tell us what was going on in your mind. Like when we analyze your phone, it'll show us evidence, but it's not going to tell us what was going on in your mind at the time. The only place I can get that from is you. I mean, at the end of the day here, we're not investigating murder, okay? That's not what we're investigating. She's... she's this escort is fine. She, had, she wasn't shot. She was a little scared. But she's not dead. I haven't discharged the player. Mm -hmm. I haven't, so... Okay. But if, you, if that's true, you know, we'll find that evidence. So we'll... we'll We'll be able to determine that you haven't fired anything. Is there any evidence of anyone else, like any other escorts, that we're going to find out similar information? Have you threatened anyone? We haven't threatened Okay. So it looks like a piece of sh. Well, you don't. So that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of here. Like, I'll be honest, Curtis, I don't 
sit this long with too many people, but you seem like a decent guy. You really don't have any criminal record. I think you're probably charged with fraud or something years ago, and that went away. You're never convicted of it. So you have no criminal record. You really don't have that much history with us. Um, you have some in, in rich metals, but it's not that bad. So I'm trying to keep to myself. Hmm. I believe you. But something happened somewhere. I've just never seen that girl in my life. So, so who would be inviting escorts up to that property? That specific property. Like who else would do that? I need to wait on. 27-year-old Caitlin Potts was last seen February 22, 2016. There are various reports that she was dropped off about 28 kilometers from the Sagmoan farm. 32-year-old Ashley Simpson and 46-year-old Deanna Wirtz were neighbors on the next road over from the Sagmoan farm. They were last seen in April 30th and July 19th of 2016. Ever use the computers in the house? No. Ever? No, we don't use the computers in the house. Okay. We've had to seize them under warrant. Hey, it's fucking a chest of the house! Sit. What the fuck? What about my mouth? We're here to talk about it. You losing your cool is not helping. I'm sorry, I've been trying. Like, I got a. Put the chair up right. Sorry. Over. Curtis, you're upset right now because of one night in jail. Are you aware of the, the sentencing for a firearms offense? We're taking this really seriously. The minimum sentence for a firearms offense is four years in jail. Do you realize that? How are you going to react if you have to go to jail? We're trying to provide you an opportunity here to get ahead of this and provide your side of the story. I'm not going to jail. Talk to me about that. I'm not going to be stuck in a room like that. Well, talk to me. My son had fired in front of him was last year. Did you meet this girl? I didn't meet a girl. I do not meet a girl. Did you text her? Truthfully, did you text her? Yes or no? I texted a girl. Okay, thank you. Thank you for telling me the truth. Do you want to shake my hand? Sure. Thank you. And I never fired a firearm. Okay. I never threatened anyone. So what did happen? Just a great story of my life. And I go back to my room. You don't want to talk about this girl anymore? I don't want to talk about anything anymore. Uh, just because you're phone, you can't, you can't. I can't get to work. I can't, I got sent out. I'm supposed to go to work without a phone. How am I get to get the phone call to go to work? Can they call your mom's place? Like, no, like. And I was going to go back to my room. There, I told you what you wanted to know. I told you what I was saying. Now you can want more. Like, no. So, all what I want to know. No, I want to know. No, please. Whole story of what happened. Whole story of what happened. About what? I was see if you thought that I was stupid. You go for a smoke first. You said, no, come talk to me first. So I talked to you first. Right? We, had, we shook hands. Mm -hmm. But when I asked it, please can I go back to my room? But we went. But what was it we were talking right? about? Hi, Curtis. Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. I'm Corporal Kovacs. I work with Rich. Can you give me a couple minutes to talk to you guys? No. Just a couple? No. Because I've been watching what's been going on here, 
And uh, so I watch in another room, okay? So. So yeah, I, you no, two are both going to have a good laugh at it. No, not yeah. at all. Curtis, I've heard a lot worse, okay? What, what I heard today, that, that I'm not laughing about anything, okay? I understand you live in a rural area. You don't have a lot of people around you. I don't even have a vehicle. So it makes you very limited on what you can right. do out there. Right, right. Even if I don't have a vehicle, it's because I got a truck and you guys out. And I got a vehicle to you because I've been working on my truck. I was missing 21 nuts. Why you're upset right now? But so upset. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even upset yet. We need to calm down then. Keep your family secure online with NordVPN. Now only can you change your IP address with double VPN you get enhanced security, complete privacy, and double encryption. Don't wait and get NordVPN immediately. Link in the description. A large group of protesters set up outside of Curtis Sagmoen's house on Salmon River Road Sunday evening. The protesters alluded to Sagmoen's involvement with women missing in the area, and some of the families of the missing women were in attendance. 32-year-old Ashley Simpson's body was eventually found and her ex-boyfriend is being charged for second-degree murder unrelated to Curtis. Curtis was then charged for the crime committed on August 28, but they could not find concrete evidence connecting Curtis to the remains of Tracy that were found on his property. A lot of the women in the area that surround Curtis are still missing. As you can see Curtis now has a long history with the police. His own attorney decided he did not want to represent him and didn't show up to one of his court dates which delayed proceedings. Due to only being charged for the crime where the unnamed escort escaped, Curtis was released on time served. This outraged family and friends of the victims and women's rights activists around the country. Curtis went on to violate his parole by assaulting a police officer. This will go to a jury trial on July 17, 2023. Shop with documentaries, get home security, chakra jewelry, and dream catchers by clicking the shopping tab below. Binge watch the documentaries interrogation playlist and please like and subscribe.